Today it's all about coffee and greenery. So grab your cup of coffee, sit back and enjoy today's topic top 10 places to visit in Chikmangaluru. Hey guys welcome back to Sakri Cubes and this is Sagar. Before we jump into our list let me brief you about Chikmangaluru. Chikmangaluru is a district located amidst the western ghats of Karnataka. Do you know what Chikmangaluru is famous for? It's coffee. The first coffee in India was cultivated here in Chikmangaluru and Chikmangaluru is one of the biggest producers of coffee in the world. But wait, being coffee capital of India is great, but the question is why you must visit Chikmangaluru? Because Chikmangaluru has got sprawling grasslands, breathtaking waterfalls, mesmerizing mountain ranges, exotic stays and of course, coffee plantations. Hope you are pumped up with excitement to visit Chikmangaluru now. Let's dive deep into our list of top 10 places to visit in Chikmangaluru. If you have got only one place to visit in Chikmangaluru, then it should be Mulyangiri. Your trip to Chikmangaluru is incomplete without visiting this mesmerizing place. Mulyangiri is the highest peak in Karnataka and the views you get from here are just beyond words. Mulyangiri gets its name from small temple located atop. The temple is dedicated to Mullappa Swami, a saint who used to meditate at caves near the summit. The road to Mulyangiri is one of the most scenic roads you will find in India. Make sure you have a good driving skills as driving on these narrow roads could be tricky, especially when there is thick fog. From parking, one will have to walk about 10 minutes to reach the peak. If you are feeling adventurous, then you can also trek to Mulyangiri. The trek distance is 3 to 4 kilometers with a moderate difficulty level. Once you are at the top, you can enjoy the panoramic view of the surrounding hills. I had been here multiple times and every time I visit this place, it leaves me amazed with its natural beauty. Remember people telling it's not about the destination but the journey? Well here at Abbey Falls it's all about the journey and the destination. Abbey Falls is located inside Badra Wildlife Sanctuary. To reach Abbey Falls you will have to take a jeep ride for about 6 km and walk another half a kilometer to finally reach Abbey Falls. The ride would cost around 400 rupees per person for two way travel. It might seem expensive at first but by the end of your visit you will say it was a paisa vasul ride to Hebe Falls. The jeep ride takes you through the thick forest stretch which is a great experience. Once you are at Hebe Falls, the effort you have put to reach this falls would be worth it. 170 meter tall waterfalls leave you spellbound. You can play in the water and enjoy being close to the nature. Do you know how coffee was introduced to India? The history unfolds at Baba Budangiri in Chikmangaluru. There was a saint called Baba Budan. While he was returning from Hajj, he discovered coffee. To introduce its taste to India, he wrapped seven unroasted coffee beans around his belly and planted them in the hills of Chikmangaluru. Chikmangaluru's weather favored the growth of coffee and in no time this place became the coffee capital of India. Well that said, Baba Budan used to sit and meditate on these hills. Not just that, there is another interesting fact about this place. There are footprints of Sri Guru Dattatreya next to the shrine of Baba Budan. That's why this place is equally worshipped by Hindus and Muslims alike. This is an excellent example of how two religions can live in harmony. Hindus call this place as Dattapita while Muslims refer to it as Baba Budan Giri. Most of the time, this place would be covered in thick fog. You'll definitely love the weather here. There's a small waterfall called Manike Dhara, just 3 km from Baba Budangiri. The waterfall is small, but what will blow your mind is the panoramic view of the surroundings from Manike Dhara. There's another place called Galikere, which is 4 km from Baba Budangiri. If you are visiting Chikmangaluru post monsoon, then don't forget to visit Galikere.
Zeri Waterfalls, also referred as Buttermill Falls, is situated between Baba Budangiri and Mulengiri. You should definitely stop here when traveling to Baba Budangiri. The waterfalls is located inside private estate and to reach this waterfalls, you will have to take a jeep ride. The two-way jeep ride would cost around 700 rupees for a group of 7 people. This jeep ride would be very memorable as you would go through the off-road trail. Once you reach the waterfalls, you will be mesmerized by its beauty. The black rock and the green surrounding make it look stunning. This waterfalls is called buttermilk waterfalls because it looks like buttermilk flowing from the top. This is the best place to get into the water and chill for some time. There is a natural pool at the bottom of the waterfalls which is the safest point to play in the water. It is well suited for kids and ladies. If you are feeling adventurous, then you can go one level up which is a thrilling experience. Anything beyond this should be avoided. Kemangundi is close to Hebe Falls and it is around 40 km from Chikmaguru city. Kemangundi is famous for its red soil. Once you are at Kemangundi, you have two options. The first option is to visit Rajbhavan Park and enjoy your time with the beautiful surrounding hills. And the second option is to challenge yourself for the Z-Point trek. If you love hiking, then I insist you choose the second option and trek to Z-Point. The panoramic views from the summit are spectacular. On your way to Z-Point, you will find Shanti Falls. Shanti Falls would be very beautiful during monsoon, but at the other time of the year, it would be mostly dry. Once you reach the Z-Point, you will be greeted with the panoramic view of the surrounding hills. If you are not in the mood to trek, don't be disappointed. The rock garden in Kemangundi is still a very nice place to spend time with your family. If you are a wildlife enthusiast, then you should definitely visit Badra Wildlife Sanctuary and Tiger Reserve. Badra Tiger Reserve spans about 500 km. It is spread across two districts, Shumaga and Chikmangaluru. As per the forest department, there are around 30 tigers and 20 leopards in Badra Wildlife Sanctuary. So forest safari in Badra has a high probability of tiger and leopard spotting. If you are visiting Badra Wildlife Sanctuary, then the best option to stay would be River Thurn Resort, which is maintained by forest department. The stay itself is so good that you won't be disappointed even if you don't spot wild animals. You can opt for either Jeep Safari or Boat Safari. Badra Dam is another must visit place when you are here. Hirekolale Lake is one of the unknown yet very beautiful places in Chikmangaluru. This lake is just 10 km from Chikmangaluru city. It is a beautiful man-made lake which was built for providing water to the town and for irrigation purpose. You can see Mulengiri peak from here. Not only that, if you observe carefully, you can also see curvy roads that would lead to Mulengiri. It is a perfect place for photography. The backdrop of Mulengiri hills, clear skies and calm water would make a great spot for photography. The best time to visit Hire Kolale Lake would be in the morning or in the evening. You can enjoy peaceful time with the nature. On your way to Kemangundi, you will find Kalatagiri Falls. It is a cascading waterfalls from Chandradrona Hills. It flows right opposite to the Veerabhadreshwara Temple. To reach the temple, you will have to cross the water stream. You can stop here for about 10 to 15 minutes before proceeding to Kemangundi. Malanduri is a small village 20 km from Chikmangaluru. Near this village, there is a hillock from where you will get a best view of the surrounding hills. While you see green hills on one side, you will see paddy fields on the other. If you are visiting this place during monsoon or post monsoon, you will be delighted with the beautiful countryside roads. Chikmangaluri is filled with so many exotic stay options that are not only beautiful but also pocket friendly. 
you can choose to stay in one of these guest houses that are surrounded by coffee plantations. Usually these resorts or guest houses offer coffee plantation tours where you can learn more about coffee. In the morning, you can take a walk inside the coffee estates for relaxing experience. I'll drop a link to few of the good stay options in the comment section below. Feel free to check them out. Even if you are not staying in these private estates, you can still opt for coffee plantation tours offered by many coffee estates. I would highly recommend you to visit coffee museum maintained by Coffee Boat. Here you can learn everything about coffee. You must try butter dosa at a restaurant called Town Canteen. This place is inside Chikmangaluru city. If you are interested to buy coffee, then Panduranga coffee store is recommended one. If you are travelling from Bangalore, then you can visit Beluru and Chettiali church on your way back to Bangalore. That was my list of top 10 places to visit in Chikmangaluru. Let me know which is your favourite in the comment section below. Also let me know which place deserves to be on this list that I missed. If you are searching for the best places to visit near Bangalore, you can check out this video on the left. See you in my next video. Until then, keep travelling.